Unit 1, Lesson 6, Area of Parallelograms. Number 1. Which three of these parallelograms have the same area as each other? The dimensions for figure A are 3 by 5. The dimensions for figure B are 3 by 5. The dimensions of figure C are 4 by 4. And the dimensions for figure D are 3 by 5. Parallelograms A, B, and D all have the same area as each other. And 3 times 5 is 15, so their area would be 15 square units. Number 2. Which of the following pairs of base and heights produce the greatest area? All measurements are in centimeters. For figure A, base times height equals 14 square centimeters. Figure B, base times height equals 16 square centimeters. Figure C, base times height equals 13 and 5 tenths square centimeters. And figure D, base times height equals 14 square centimeters. Figure B has the greatest area, 16 square centimeters. Number 3. Here are the areas of three parallelograms. Use them to find the missing length, labeled with a question mark, on each parallelogram. Figure A has the area of 10 square units, the base is 5, and the height is unknown. 10 divided by 5 equals 2, or 5 times 2 equals 10. The area for figure B is 21 square units. The height is 7 and the base is missing. 21 divided by 7 is 3, or 7 times 3 is 21. The measurement for the missing base is 3 units. The area for figure C is 25 square units. The height is 5 and the base is unknown. 25 divided by 5 is 5, or 5 times 5 is 25. The measurement for the missing base is 5 units. Number 4. The Dockland building in Hamburg, Germany is shaped like a parallelogram. If the length of the building is 86 meters and its height is 55 meters, what is the area of this face of the building? 86 meters represents the length in yellow, and 55 meters represents the height in blue. 86 meters times 55 meters equals 4,730 square meters. The area of the face of the building is 4,730 square meters. Number five, select all segments that could represent a corresponding height if the side M is the base. I highlighted side M in red. It represents the base. Line segments E, F, J, and K are all at a 90 degree angle in comparison to side M. So if side M is the base, E, F, J, and K all represent the height. Number six, find the area of the shaded region. All measurements are in centimeters. Show your reasoning. The shaded region is on the inside of an even larger rectangle. The shape of the shaded region is also a rectangle, and it's sitting at an angle, which forms four small triangles that are not shaded. The dimensions for this small triangle are two by six, this larger triangle has dimensions 4 by 12. Here's another smaller triangle that's also 2 by 6, and another larger triangle with dimensions 4 by 12. We can use these dimensions to help us figure out the height and the base of the larger rectangle. 12 plus 2, or 14 for the base, and 6 plus 4, or 10 for the height. The large rectangle's area is 14 times 10, or 140 square centimeters. Combine the two small triangles, 2 by 6, to form a rectangle with an area of 12 square centimeters. Combine the two large triangles, 4 by 12, to form a rectangle with an area of 48 square centimeters. Remove 12 square centimeters and 48 square centimeters from 140 square centimeters to find the area of the shaded region. The area of the shaded region is 80 square centimeters. Thank you.